to net zero. I am Priyanka Prakash. How does good waste management impact our race to net zero? Founded in 2018 by Udit Singhal, Glass to Sand aims to address the environmental issues created by empty glass bottles dumped in landfill. Udit, currently a student at University College London and a United Nations young leader for the SDGs, joins us today on net zero. I would like to begin by firstly learning about your inspiring journey. As a 16-year-old, what was that driving factor that inspired you to work towards solving the glass pollution crisis? It all started when I chanced upon this large cache of empty glass bottles at home. And that curiosity then led me to dig deeper where I found similar problems in the neighborhood and a potentially large glass waste crisis looming. I knew at this point that I couldn't just sit back and do nothing about this. Therefore, you know, at the right old age of 16, Gloucester Sand was born to afford real, innovative and feasible solutions to systemic issues such as a looming glass waste crisis that often go unnoticed. What are the most important lessons you have learned since the day you were sparked with this innovative idea? You know, what I learned is that you must never stop believing in yourself. You must muster that courage to maneuver through hurdles, to chart the way forward. I think seeking support is a step in the right direction. Through my journey, I, I also learned that you can't just wait for something to happen. You have to lead them your way. And I guess, you know, it's possibly because of all these best practices that I've followed through the years and through my journey, that against all odds today, Glass to Sand has already stopped over 25,000 glass bottles from reaching the landfills, saving over 150,000 kilograms in carbon emissions. It's been a journey full of learning, a journey that I started to plug the recycling gap for glass so that it doesn't become the next plastic menace that we are dealing with today. You were recently named by the United Nations to the 2020 class of 17 young leaders the Sustainable Development Goal. What has the experience of working with the UN been like for you? I was honoured to be selected by the United Nations. My role today has meant a lot to me. It's afforded me the ability to use my experiences so far to help galvanise and encourage a wide spectrum of people, including the youth, towards solving the world's most pressing challenges, such as sustainability, the climate crisis. I've had today the opportunity to strategize very closely with various UN organizations for youth-led climate action. And this has all been to encourage solution-driven youth-led climate action. Can you walk us through how your technology works? Glass to sand works by crushing empty glass bottles into commercially valuable silica sand. The bottles are cut iteratively to reduce them into really fine sand, which is then used in sustainable construction. And this is a very, very fast-paced product. And this is a very, very, very fast-paced project. But bottle collection is managed through institutional support partnerships and a volunteer network that responded to Glass to Sand's call to the planet. And it's just a very, very growing movement because a lot of people today are realizing that same thing that I realized, the glass is not being recycled and a lot of people don't know what to do with their glass. Glass manufacturing is an energy intensive industry. How energy efficient is your process compared to a more traditional model? I think given that the compact plug and play glass to sand machine runs on, on household electricity to offset these carbon emissions created by glass, the process becomes extremely energy efficient. It's a very small machine. And so glass to sand today as an initiative remains carbon negative where it offsets more carbon than the crushing process generates. So that's where glass to sand fits in today. And I hope that, that we can continue this momentum further how do you plan to scale this technology in different parts of India and beyond? Is your model economically viable for more people to adopt? Glass to Sand is a very forward-looking fast mover in India that aims to block this glass bottle waste from ending up in the landfills. And the project being so compact, it's modular and it's easily scalable and can easily be adopted by any like-minded organization, any governmental body. And, you know, that commercially valuable sand that's generated as a byproduct allows that affordable one-time setup cost and those low running costs to be really offset. So it creates that steady revenue stream. And essentially, that's what Glass to Sand has been about today. To what extent do you believe that new technologies and innovations, such as those you are implementing to solve glass pollution, are the answer to addressing the climate change challenge? 
as I strongly believe in this make or break decade for our planet, young people's commitment and contribution to leading that solution driven change towards a greener, cleaner and a more habitable planet. I have always focused on affording real, real solutions to the world's biggest challenges rather than just being lost in talk to affect real time change in the world. We are already aware of a lot of the problems, but we need that means to an end to be able to create real impact to addressing not only the climate crisis and the climate change challenge, but also other global challenges that we face today that are actually going to consume a lot of our energies in solving in the near future. Our thanks to Udit Singhal. I am Priyanka Prakash. I add my voice to the voices of my net zero international youth peers to monitor the actions of our world leaders to achieve their net zero commitments.